And the first card is the money path. So the path with money is waiting for you to find it. So you are looking for a new career path and it looks like it will present itself to you. Uh, you know, if you're looking for it, it's going to uh, present uh, appear because you can see that path is opening up for you. So where you have been reaching dead ends, it looks like money is about to come into your own. Um, arena there and you've got new creative ideas new ventures and a fresh start so it looks like your creativity is going to open your pathway up as far as your finances go so new ideas coming to you and it's something that people are going to feel uh, is very groundbreaking so that is coming in for you there you've got the forest card uh, over there so you know you have been feeling rather muddled muddled and unclear thinking uh, you can't see the forest for the trees there they say so it seems like uh, you're coming out of that because you've got the sun there. Uh, so your your clarity and enlightenment coming to you there. You're getting new ideas. So where you've been stuck mentally, it seems like you're going to be emerging from that, uh, uh, you know, uh, cloud of of confusion. Uh, you've got the bear over there, so danger, especially with money matters. So you have been facing some big financial problems at the moment because you've got the bear, uh, and you've got the camel over there. So preserve, and you will overcome your problems. So it seems like you've had to tighten your belt because you've been going through some financial crisis over there. Now going to the future, you've got the spear, heartache over what you no longer have. So stop crying over the past. It's time for you to move on. If you've had a relationship that broke. Uh, down you know let, let it go now it's time to to heal from it and move on and you've got the claw over there so be careful don't take any risks so whatever ventures you're doing as far as finances go make sure you're thinking about it very carefully and doing your research don't just jump into something because it seems attractive uh don't fall for any schemes as well so make sure you research things up very carefully and it looks like money is going to be coming into your arena it's going to be your sheer hard work that gets you there not some uh you know fly by night scheme that gets you the money so you're confused about something. You've got the Two of Swords over there. You've got uh, the Eight of Pentacles, the Lovers card, and the card immediately below it is the Ace of Swords. So this is brand new begin, and one, the one below it is the Ace of Staves. So there's a new project that you have been working on, some kind of new venture. Um, you know that you've been starting you've started recently and you know there's been some breakthrough moment there maybe communication coming in you've cut out a lot of people from your life or situations from your life and you're emerging as something brand new this is a butterfly emerging there in the background um, but this is about uh, you know almost finding uh, a solution to some problems that you've been going through as well and you have been going through a lot of problems it looks like you may have been dealing with some legal issues as well and there's been a breakthrough in that situation as well there's a choice that you're facing um, you know you have to make a decision about something and it's about uh, something to do with the work and whether or not you want to improve skill set by doing some further study so you may have been involved in that at the moment uh, it seems like on either side of this eight of pentacles which involves work and study and learning um, you know um, almost taking on that print apprenticeship role so learning new skills or improving your skill set there's this card of confusion here with this two of swords and the lovers card is the card of choice so there's a decision that you are uh, trying to make about your work about further study about where you want the, all this learning to take you as well and you're sitting there you know you're almost very conflicted about what you want to do um you know maybe there's some new contract that's coming and you have to make a decision about whether or not you want to change jobs uh but it seems like you're in a dilemma you're at the turning point in your life over there and you know you feel as though things are missing or there's some information missing there for you so you're not seeing things very clearly you're looking for some kind of solution to your problem or you're also you're possibly waiting for some news uh, about legal issues as well uh, because this is the swords card and you can see this person's got a, a blindfold but everything seems to be at a standstill you're trying to make a logical decision but you're not quite sure in this card there are two sets of islands so there's a set of island in the back and one in the front so it seems like there was a decision that was made initially and there's a decision that you are trying to make um, or two sets of decisions being made and right now you're facing the third decision you know, you've had some kinds of choices coming in for you and you're pretty confused as to what to do there. Now, it, it could possibly be about accepting uh, a, a job uh, in a partnership of some sort because this could be a business partnership coming in. People always read the two of vessels as just being a lover's uh, um, card, but in the um, tarot, um, you know, it has the uh, the sign of business usually. So it's some, some kind of business 
uh, relationship, business partnership that's on offer to you. And maybe this is why you're sitting and thinking about it quite carefully. You might have been offered some sort of partnership with somebody that you knew in the past, a friend, an old friend, and you're considering it, you're weighing your options and deciding whether or not this particular business is going to be in the, the the coin um you know this person is offering you a pretty good deal and at the moment your finances are a little bit up in the air uh so you are really sitting and weighing your options as to whether or not you want to be involved in this particular business venture here and this person this offer seems to be a really good offer this person seems to be somebody that you get along with you're on the same page or have the same kind of level of education or level of skills uh, and they're making this offer to you so you are thinking very very carefully about whether or not you want to accept it, you're pretty conflicted over it as well. So there's that choice coming in over there. So in the past, uh, you can see there's that two of pentacles over here. So this offer has come in for you. And it could be a project that involves something to do with overseas business as well. So something international that has been put on offer to you. You got the three of swords there, interestingly enough. So, uh, you know, it seems like there's been uh, some breakdown of communication. Maybe, you know, maybe there was a new, an old uh, a job that was off on offer to you. And maybe you didn't get that because there was a difficulty in communication uh, with there. Or there was some kind of legal issue that didn't work out, quite work out for this old job that you've been doing. So, you're, you know, you have been considering whether or not you want to make a fresh start or start some kind of project on the overseas front. Uh, but maybe it didn't get off the ground because, you know, there was a problem uh, with the people that you were dealing with or there was some kind of legal issue that needed to be sorted out that never was sorted out. And now it seems like there's a new um, kind of venture on offer over here, a new choice. Uh, and maybe that explains why there's these islands in the back over there where a choice was made in the past. Uh, and even this this two of uh, pentacles, it's about choice being made with regards to work or with regards to finances. So you were considering or weighing your options at that point, and yet again you are faced with that dilemma again. So you are very conflicted at the moment. It's making you, you know, it seems as though if you take on this new project, you know that there's going to be a lot of hard work that's associated with it. Um, you're going to have to put in a lot of long hours and it's going to be something that's going to control your life for quite a while. Uh, and maybe there's going to be a lot of uh, issues that you have to deal with. You're going to have to be very hands-on. There's a lot of fire in the card because it's the devil card. Uh, and, you know, perhaps it's, you know, you don't want to be so controlled by that work. Uh, you know, you want to have a lot more freedom. So perhaps taking on this new venture is going to tie you up too much to that job. And this is the reason why you don't really, uh, you know, you're thinking very carefully as to whether you want to accept it. You've got the Queen of Pentacles over here. So whatever this venture is, it's going to bring in the money. It's certainly going to be something that's going to be overseas or you're going to, in, it's going to involve, um, you know, working with people on the overseas front. It's going to be something very global as well. And it will definitely generate a lot of finances. Um, so there's a lot of uh, management that's going to be uh, done on your part. You're going to be, have to be very, very practical. But it's certainly going to use all your skill sets and it's definitely going to bring in a lot of coin. So, you know, uh, quite a dilemma to be in at the moment. Um, you've got the five of staves. So maybe the people that you're working with at the moment, uh, you know, there's a lot of conflict. There's a lot of competition. Perhaps this new job that you're going to be taking or this new venture that's being proposed to you there, uh, you know, even getting it off the ground, uh, it's a very competitive field and a lot of people are possibly doing the same kind of thing and maybe this is why you're thinking about whether or not you want to, you know, reinvent the wheel, uh, so, so to speak. So there's a lot of competition. It's a bit difficult to get this project off the ground because of uh, there being so much of competition or it's a very, very difficult industry to actually break through in. But it looks like it will be successful. So even if you take that risk, you know, even though you're dealing with a lot of people, uh, a lot of competition, uh, you know, you're coming out on top with the coin in your lap. So that means that there is going to be financial success from this venture. You're very stressed out about it. Right now you're feeling very stuck in, in whatever situation you are in, you feel as though things are, you know, information is missing from you there. You can see her eyes are tied up. Uh, you're not quite sure how to actually proceed uh, at the moment. So you're, uh, you know, very, very anxious. This uh, period that you're going through is of high anxiety. It seems like you want to reach out and branch off on a global scale. Yeah, you've got the world card there. So this is in your hopes and fears. And you want whatever this business is to go global or you want whatever this job is to be something that goes global. 
whatever this partnership, whatever this offer is that's being put to you, you want it to succeed. Uh, and you want some travel as well to come in over there. Um, you know, you're also hoping to end this old situation that you've been in through and you're willing to put in the work. So whatever project is being offered to you, uh, it, it looks like, you know, this is what your plan is so that, you know, if you're starting a company or if you're starting a business or you're even doing some kind of consultancy job, you want it to hit the international uh, arena, it seems. You're, you've got the Queen of Swords over here, the Ten of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. So you're waiting for news to uh, to come through. So you're waiting for things to happen. You may be waiting for signing contracts or waiting to get uh, legality sorted out over here with that Queen of Swords. It looks like it's going to be quite successful. So there's a roaring success coming. You've got the Ten of Pentacles together with the Nine of Pentacles uh, next to each other. Whatever it is, you're going... And you've got that Queen of Pentacles. The money is in in the spread. I mean, if I had to look at the spread, I'd say it was a, a spread for a, an Earth sign person. But this is your sign and it's water sign. So there's a lot of money coming in over here. Um, you know, you're a water sign, but there's a lot of Pentacle cards over here, which implies that there's, you know, on the business front, as far as your work and finances goes, things are, th are going to be picking up in a major way here. You know, the Ten of Pentacles is about a lot of money coming in. You've got two flags over there, so there's a lot of communication going on. Uh, it's very global over there, and you can see there's a lot of abundance that's on this card. There's a lot of fruits there, a lot of coinage over this card over there. There's a victory uh, shield over there. And the Nine of Pentacles shows that a lot of money coming to you you can see there's a lot of money under her cloak. So whatever you're working for is going to just be uh, an outstanding success. And you're going to get news about that as well. And it's going to make you very, very renowned. So there's a lot of, um, you know, recognition coming in for it. Uh, you know, and uh, it's, allow you, it's going to allow you to be very independent. So whatever project you're doing, wherever you're going, uh, leaving behind the crowd and working independently, it's going to generate a lot of finances for you there. So don't hesitate to do this project. This is not something that you should have cold feet about. And don't be scared of any competition that comes your way because it looks like, even though you're going through all this anxiety, things are going to, to, to take off. Whatever this business uh, arrangement is, this partnership is, it's going to be very, very successful. Very, very successful. You might have to put in the extra hours, but you know, you've got the Ten of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles next to each other. This just shows that the money is definitely coming in. And you know, you've got that Queen of Pentacles as well. So this is all about money. And it looks like it's going to be very, very successful. So I'm going to just draw some cards from the um, Wolf Pack. And the first card is uh, Battle. So at this time, a battle with a loved one or friend, this can indicate a struggle in career or on the job front. So it might lead to an ending, uh, possibly a battle within oneself. Seek peace through prayer and meditation. So, you know, you are facing stiff competition. This is a bit of a struggle. You've got that uh, five um, of uh, staves over there. So there are people that are, you know, you're dealing with difficult people, not quite seeing your vision as well. Um, so you're going to have to fight for what you want, but it will be successful. You, uh, the entrapment card says you might be feel trapped. You might feel trapped by a person or career or children. You might also feel that things are closing in around you. This will end within nine months, so you will see some very positive results within the next nine months. Uh, you've got that eight of swords. This is also about feeling very stuck and very feeling very very trapped within a situation at the moment. Uh, and waste you cannot afford to create waste in your life. Take nothing for granted because you could experience sudden famine. Uh, due to carelessness with money or health or time. So make sure that you're handling your resources very, very carefully, very, very wisely. Uh, you know, don't overspend, over, don't overindulge. Still be very, very cautious when it comes to money uh, and how you, what you do with your time as well. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the um, Archangel Power Tarot for the main read, main oracle read really. So it looks like, you know, from a financial point of view, uh, things are about to change for the better. You are still trying to make a decision, but it looks like the success is going to be coming in for you there. Um, and the first card you've got that's fallen in you is the page of area, which is the page of pentacles. So you're going to hear one news about uh, this um, opportunity that comes in. So an excellent opportunity will be offered to you. Uh, a scholarship, um, the pursuit of education or time to get, it's time to get to work. So you can see there's this offer that is coming in over here with that page of Ariel. 
uh, and it's a really good opportunity that's going to be offered to you there. So whatever this business partnership or whatever this partnership is, it's something that you really should accept because it's going to lead to uh, a lot of doors opening for you. You've got strength and grace through kindness, self-confidence. So the strength card coming in over there, you'll be able to sort things out and everything will work itself out as well. Um, so, you know, you just need to be resilient and hang in there as well. And don't back down. And the four of Michael is uh, insights that come through quiet meditation and need for some sleep. Take some time out and seek some relief from stress. So you are very stressed out. Maybe, uh, you know, this card is counseling that you do need to take a little step back and look at all the facts and the details very carefully. Come up with a new plan, a new strategy and put that into place. Uh, this offer that is being presented to you is a really good offer. And it looks like it's going to open a lot of doors for you and bring in a lot of financial success. So it's all about the money this week, and it looks like you know this is going to be a, this is a good business decision uh, about accepting whatever this offer is. So both these cards are saying uh, the page of Ariel as well as this Two of Cups is showing that this offer is coming in. You're weighing your options, but if you accept it, it looks like it's going to be very very successful for you. 